brand new to this year's United Way Turf Races is Woodbine's Survivor Challenge. Now, we've all seen the show Survivor on TV. It's not nearly as complex as that, but what exactly it does entail is you must complete four different tasks. Now, for the purposes of our demonstration here today, all these tasks are really closely put together, but when you guys do it for real, they'll be 40 meters apart. And here to demonstrate all the stations is my wonderful assistant, Bratz Beauty, Elisa Blow. So Elisa is all set for action. Now you'll all be wearing bibs. For the purposes of our demonstration, Elisa is wearing a red bib, which is number one. So the first station in which Elisa has to complete is she has to find the red silks and do up at least one button. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay, so off to station number one we go. And Elisa has to find the red silks. So she's looking, she's looking, she's trying to find the red, red silks. Speed is of the most importance right now. She's found the red silks. Now these don't have any buttons, but they have a Velcro. Task number one completed. On to task number two. Here we go, task number two. There are two pails of water. One's full of water, one is not. You must fill the entire empty pail with the pail that has the water originally. Don't spill, Lisa. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now you must pick up the pail now full of water and go on to station number three. It seems like a simple task, but it's really not. You must put on the helmet next. Now, with the helmet, you have to put it on perfectly, nice and snug, because it has to stay off for the remainder of the race, and you can't use your hands to keep it on. Nice and snug. Now we go on to station number four. For station number four, you must put on three sets of goggles. These are the same sets of goggles the jockeys wear during a race. There's one, speed, speed, speed. Here comes goggle number two, and goggle number three. Now you must pick up your horse, and run to the finish line. <laughs> All right, how many buttons are on the silks? Okay, some of the silks have buttons, some are Velcro. I've explained it all to you during the video. It's a pretty simple process. We want no cheating. Again, when you put the helmets on, the straps must be fully on. You can't use your hands to touch your helmets when you're running. Everybody cool? Everybody understands? We don't want any controversy. We had some controversy in our last race. Going to the starting gate and best of luck. I feel like that guy from Survivor. I, I don't know his name, but uh, the tribe is spoken guy. But Elisa, Elisa, I have to give you credit. You get perfect 10 for style points. You look pretty good there in those silks. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> now, any boys have any questions or concerns as to how to properly ride the pony or put your goggles on or anything like that? No? No, no, nothing right now at the moment. Are you nervous? Are you feeling the, are you feeling the heat? I'm more nervous for the other guys because they're going to come uh, way behind me. So, you know, hopefully they can recover from the disappointment. Have you ever ridden on a broom before? Never. I can't. No, never. That's where I had the advantage. I fly into one, in on one to work every day. Yeah. No. <laughs> all right. So, Jeff, I think we're all good to go. I can see everybody's got their game faces on here. Uh, it is like Survivor. And you didn't tell them what next year's challenge is. It's living in the infield for one week. Right? Absolutely. I, I like that idea. So, we're getting all set for action here. The first ever Survivor Challenge. I'm now joined by Wendy Muir, who's in charge of everything that goes on here. And next year, uh, the Survivor Challenge is going to be even a little bit more difficult, isn't it? Yes, we're going to make it bigger and better and a little more challenging. I, I think some equine athletes should be involved next year. Oh, very yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, you know, maybe maybe get, maybe get some of the, of the ponies, you know, and uh, we'll get uh, put some actual jockeys aboard here and we'll make things really interesting. I like your ideas. Food for thought we'll here. See what goes on. Now as uh, we're going into the starting gate, while we have you here, just a, a quick thought on the day overall because we're going to catch up with you at the end of the day as well, but uh, just, it just seems like it's bigger and better this season. It is. Uh, we have uh, 35 more runners this year than we did last year and uh, we've got a beautiful day for it. And you know what I like best is the fact that you asked me to host every year so I don't have to run in this. <laughs> <laughs> we can get you running out. We'll have a host race. Well, you know what? Track announcer Dan Loisel, he's been doing some marathon training, so he might be all set for action next year. Well, there you go. Yeah. Shut up, Jeff. We'll run him against Nick. That's right. What do you think, Danny? I think you talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> Feel going to the gate uh, for the Survivor Challenge Race 5 this afternoon. One is Leslie Stout of Food and Beverage. Two is uh, Brad Willen of Security. Gary Sandu of Security is number three. Jason Potwicker of Marketing is number four. Alex Boileau of Wagering Ops is number five, and Petros Sakalaitis of Wagering Ops is six. As uh, Sandy gets them uh, loaded into the gate, and I guess they're uh, sprinting for those colors on the outside of the track initially, so 
We might have some bumping, Jeff, as they uh, move towards Deborah Carey there in those silks on the outside of the track. Anyways, uh, we'll see how it goes. They're at the post. They're off. And they're running toward the silks. They're all bearing out and sprinting out of there was Alex Boileau. Uh, second to the silks was Peter uh, Sakulaitis. And they're all grabbing their silks and throwing them on. Got to do them up. And two, uh, Brad Willen is uh, doing his up and running to the buckets. Second to the buckets there was five, Alex Boileau. Peter Sakulaitis. Oh, and Peter's got to jump on them now. It's Peter in front, chased by Augs Boileau. And they're down to the helmets. Six and five, first and second. And third is uh, Brad Willen. Fourth to the outside, Jason Potzinger. They're putting the helmets on. Boy, oh boy, have you guys ever put helmets on in your life? What's going on here? Oh, and they're off. And Jason Potwicker, Potwicker, has taken the lead. Down to the inside is Brad Willen, and on the outside, Peter Sakulatis. And they're putting on their uh, goggles now. It looks like a three-horse race, and it's down to Brad Willen and Jason Potzinger. And on the outside, Peter Sakulaitis. Here is the finish. A rock-solid performance by Brad Willen to win it. Jason Potzinger second. Petros Sakulaitis finished third. And the other guys are still putting on their goggles. It looks like uh, Alex Boileau will finish fourth with a Gary Sandu fifth. And Wesley Stout. Wesley Stay in food and beverage. You're not going to make it as a rider. But here comes Wesley. Well, Brad, I don't know if you're single or not, but this is not the best way to get girls because you really don't look like a million dollars right now. But congratulations on the win. Uh, can you even see? Uh, a bit. Very, very slightly. But it's good enough. <laughs> what was the most difficult part? The helmet? Yes. I think for everyone it was the helmet. Now, um, you kind of look like me. You got a bit of a Molson muscle there. Uh, were the silks a little too tight to go on there? Yeah, just a bit. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm too big to be a jockey. Yeah. Congratulations. Did you ever think you would actually win this? No, not at all. <laughs> Way to go. Congratulations. Thanks a lot.